What's going on guys and welcome back to episode 13 now of the Transfer Rumour. In today's episode we've got a load of transfers. This could be possibly the best episode we have done yet. We've got loads of confirmed ones. We have also got loads of ones um, that look as if they could just be about to happen. Some big ones as well as you can see from the thumbnail. So we're going to get into the first one guys and it is Tony Cruz. He has been linked to Manchester City for £50 million. Uh, pounds, or is it Euros? I'm not too sure. But one of them... Um, I really want him at Man City. I think he'll be a great player. He's, one of the, he's probably the best passing midfielder or the best passing player in world football. Um, when you see some of the like his pass accuracy, his pass conversion rate, stuff like that, it's just incredible. He was at Bayern Munich, of course, with Pep Guardiola. Pep Guardiola did have to let him go, though. Apparently, he wanted to move to Real Madrid. Guardiola didn't want to let him go, but he kind of had no choice. Um, and that was that was that was sad to see. I think he's just a world world class player, and I hope he can join Man City. He's just he's just so good. I'm gonna give a rumor rating of five. I, it could go either way. I don't think he will sign, but I wouldn't be surprised that surprised if he did. Um, and also a transfer rating of ten. I think this would be an incredible signing. Probably the one of the best signings um, of this whole transfer window. But then going to one that um, kind of came out of nowhere. There's some transfers that just come out of nowhere, and bids have apparently went through and all that. This was one of them. Um, Joe Allen to Stoke from Liverpool just out of nowhere I believe he was in a different episode linked to somebody else can't quite remember who at the moment I think it was Swansea he was linked back to um, but now Stoke have apparently put in a £30 million bid or are about to put in a £30 million bid in for the Welshman of course he did had a very very good Euro campaign um, don't know if he's worth £13 million though. we'll have to see how good he does this season I don't know if he will go though it's a bit of a strange transfer but I could I could see him there and he'll probably be one of their main players I'm going to give a rumour rating of 8 because I think it could happen um, in fact you know I think it will happen I just don't know how long it will take to happen we then got Nasir Chadley of course with Spurs at the moment he has been linked to Swansea or Swansea have been linked to him for £10 million apparently put in a bid or about or preparing a bid of £10 million for Nasir Chadley I'm going to give it a rumour rating of 6 um, I feel it's a bit more likely than not likely I think he might leave he's not they are main left mid anymore. It depends if Son leaves. I think if Son leaves, he'll stay. Um, but if they want to keep Son and maybe use him, they might sell Chadley. I can see him leaving, though. I feel like he's going to get more game time at all our clubs, um, especially a small club. If he goes to a team like Swansea, he's going to get loads more game time. Also going to give it a transfer rating of 10. This would be such a good transfer for Swansea in general, um, as he is a very, very good player. We then go on to Christensen. Um... He was at Borussia Mönchengladbach last season on loan. He is now back at Chelsea, um, which was the club he was um, at before he got loaned out to uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach. He's been linked with Borussia Dortmund. This would be a massive one. Apparently, they've bidded 14.25 million um, for the Danish man, and this would be an incredible deal for them. I think he would do very, very well. As we saw last season, season in the Bundesliga, he was in the team of the season for the Bundesliga, so he had a very, very good campaign in the Bundesliga, and he stops in Bundesliga here um, but yeah I think he would do very well at Dortmund they do need a new centre back of course as well because of the departure of Hummels to Bayern Munich I'm going to give it a rumour rating of 6 as I don't know what's going to happen with this and a transfer rating of 9 as it would be a very good transfer then I have another one uh, another player who has just returned to Borussia Dortmund. Royce will be so happy. He's just been named as um, Borussia Dortmund captain. Just been confirmed he's going to be on the FIFA 17 cover. And now he's reunited with one of his best friends, Mario Gotza. 83.3 million pounds is the deal um, or the, the rumoured um, price. But he has returned to Borussia Dortmund. Of course, going to Bayern Munich a couple of seasons ago. Didn't have the greatest campaign there. And I'm pretty sure he does want to return. And that is why he has returned to the club he was at before Bayern Munich. I'm going to give it a rating of 10, of course, because it has been confirmed, and a transfer rating also of 10. This is a great deal for them. Imagine Gotza, um, Dembele, Royce, and Abar Yang now. It would just be incredible for them up front. We then go on to Ganso. You might have known this guy. I believe he has like silver and gold everywhere uh, throughout FIFA. He's so slow. He's got like 48. He's got like, I don't know what pace he has this year, 48 pace or something like that this year. And of course, I've changed his card around a wee bit. But that's just a bit of a strange transfer. I thought he was one of these Brazilian players that's always going to stay in Brazil for like the rest of his career. But all of a sudden, he's just moved to Sevilla for... Um, I can't remember how much it is exactly. I don't think there's been a price kind of put about yet. Um, but 
it is a strange one, and I think this could be a good deal for them, depending on how he suits up playing and things like that. We're going to have Halal, Hal, Halilovic, I'm not too sure how you say this guy, um, but he has moved from Barcelona to Hamburg for five million pounds, he wasn't on that team last season, can't quite remember at the moment who it was, I may have to look that up, um, but I'm going to give it a rumour rating of 10 of course because it has been confirmed, he's had his medical and all that, and also a transfer rating of 8 as well, this would be a good transfer for Hamburg in my opinion, if a Barcelona star is going to them, they obviously, uh, Barcelona obviously saw something in them that made them the player they kind of are today and he'll do very well in Hamburg in my opinion, we then have like Remy to beseech to a price hasn't been thrown about yet, um, I'm going to give it a rumour rating of 7, I feel like this is one of those ones that is just the papers making stuff up, of course, now. And um, they've got Batshawi and um, Diego Costa. So, it reminds me of the papers saying, you know what, Remy has to leave now. Trial is coming through, might take even the third place spot. So, why would Remy want to stay? And they're just linking roads of random clubs to him. Um, and I feel like this could be the case here. I feel like that's going to be the case with a lot of players um, <coughs> throughout the transfer window. And I kind of want to see Remy move. He's a quality player. <clears throat> Maybe to another BPL team though, because I really like using them in BPL squads. Uh, but it'll be interesting to see who he goes to if he does, in fact, move at all in the summer. We then have Rully. I've had him in an episode before. He has been linked again um, to Manchester City for, I believe, it's roughly about four million pounds. I'm not too sure though. Um, <clears throat> I have heard rumours it's about four million pounds, but it could be it could be anything from um, four million up to eight million or up to nine million. I have heard this would be a great signing as well. Of course. Um, um, coming to Manchester City, we need a new goalkeeper apparently, Willie Caballero had a great game against Bayern Munich last night um, and people were saying he might challenge Joe Hart that's just ridiculous, Joe Hart is one of the best keepers in the league, no way he's going to challenge um, uh, Joe Hart to that I mean he is good at penalties but um, yeah, he's not He's not quite Joe Hart standard we've got a room rating of 7 though as it could happen it could go either way though, I think it's looking like it could happen, also a transfer rating of 9 as it would be a very good deal, we then go on to Paul Pogba, this is the biggest one we have had for a while Paul Pogba, 100 and 20 million. Like, that is just too much. It's far too much. Um, I didn't actually rate him. I've, I've not really, I've not seen loads of them. I've seen a bit of them in Serie A. I watched quite a lot of them in the Euros. I don't think he was that good. I don't I don't think he's anywhere near the standard of Xavi, Iniesta, those sort of players. He's nowhere near it. He's not even worth, I wouldn't even pay 80 million for him. Um, I think maybe 60 million is even pushing that. I'd say 60 million at the most is what you should be playing for a player like Paul Pogba. I wouldn't pay anywhere near double. Especially considering four years ago they let him go for free to Juventus and now they're buying him back for 120 million. That is ridiculous. Like it's just ridiculous. It's a rip off, um, and I can't believe they're doing it. I just, I, I'm tempted to do a rant video on it. I'm so like, I, I'm so, I'm kind of in a way, I'm glad they're doing it because it means that Manchester United will just flop this season if he does badly. They'll just get loads of um, kind of things hit at them saying, why do you spend that much? But yeah, it'll be interesting to see how he does, I suppose. We then have Woods Naldum, um, who's just been confirmed uh, moving to Liverpool by his brother, actually. His brother posted on um, Twitter, on his own um, Twitter, that he posted a picture of Woods Naldum in a Liverpool shirt, and it said something like coming, so I can't remember what it said, but it was quickly deleted. So it has been confirmed, basically, by his brother that he will be moving to Newcastle for £25 million. It has been confirmed. It hasn't already been confirmed by either of the clubs yet, but it looks as if this deal is all but done so it's an interesting one um but at the end of the day like he's gonna go through he's not gonna stay in newcastle and um, who are in the championship he just got edited as he played the season a couple of seasons ago and it looks as if he could be um could be going to liverpool for 25 million i'm gonna give it a room rating of 10 i think this would be it's, it's basically guaranteed to happen and i think it would be a good deal as well um for liverpool so i have gave it a transfer rating of nine we then go on to the final player of today's episode guys <coughs> and as Wimmer, as Wimmer of um, Spurs, he has signed a new contract, a new five-year deal. I know the last one isn't really a transfer, it's kind of a new contract thing, but I think that's quite a big thing for Spurs. Of course, they've got Toby Alderweireld um, and Jan Vertonghen. Do they really need a new five-year contract on Wimmer? I'm not too sure. They might have him, Pochettino might have him in their future plans, I'm not sure yet. Um, but I think he's a world, world-class defender on his day. Maybe not world-class, but he's a great defender on his day um, when I've watched him in the Premier League. And hopefully he can continue that form going in to um, next season because I really like watching Spurs they're probably one of my favourite BPL teams of course apart from um, Man City I don't know what it is I just like watching Spurs in general um, they're a good football team to watch and yeah why am I going on the route of Spurs anyway guys hopefully if you have enjoyed today's video you'll smash the like button if you can hit 15 likes guys that'd be absolutely insane I have got uh, an episode of the World to Glory which was uploaded at 11.30 today make sure to go check that out guys if you haven't already 
Go subscribe to my channel as well if you haven't as well. And apart from that, I'll see you guys next time.